Um, big thanks to you, Peter. Um, it's always nice to be part of uh, your comprehensive webinar series. Um, really impressive what you're setting up there. So yeah, big thanks to you and also thanks for being part of the series. And um, yeah, one, one word about uh, Jan Erik. I really liked your presentation just a minute ago. And one thing which really impressed me, the coffee mug you had on your table must have been really, really um, hot because it was steaming through the, during the entire 15 minutes of your, of your presentation. So quite impressed about that. Good. So yeah, uh, also warm welcome uh, to everyone from cold and um, uh, snowy Munich. My name is Johannes, uh, Director of Product Management here at Stammer Imaging, and I'm happy to share with you today um, the embedded offering um, from Stammer Imaging. And I'm about to talk to you not about just our um, hardware offering, um, but also our software and service offering. And in order to be more concrete there, I also uh, want to show you some practical application examples. So a few words about the company, Stammer Imaging, for those who might not know the company. Um, we have more than 35 years experience. Uh, um, we are the leading international system house for machine vision technology with approximately 330 employees uh, being represented in more than 15 locations across Europe and also Latin America with an active customer base of 5,000 customers worldwide um, and a pretty uh, effective um, order processing machinery, which is able to ship um, 65,000 shipments per year. The heart of our business is uh, components. So we provide uh, components from over 200 different vendors, uh, which we purchase worldwide, of course. But not only the components is the heart of our business, also the all-round engineering expertise from all our employees, uh, which enables us to deliver enti the entire spectrum of machine vision services, on the one hand for industrial, but also for non-industrial um, applications, which is more and more growing on our side. Um, apart from that, we provide a huge range of value-added services um, like manufacturing services, engineering services, operational services. Um, I will go a little bit more into depth uh, about that in just a second. And we also provide our own products like CVB, uh, a comprehensive machine vision library. We also provide our own embedded um, carrier boards and also in picker, for example, just to name a few. But the core of today's presentation is our modular embedded ecosystem offering. So with this um, specifically from Stammer Imaging designed uh, carrier board, um, we provide a, specifically, uh, a specific board which is designed for empowering embedded machine vision applications. So um, with a manufacturer independent camera use, um, with a pretty comprehensive set of um, NVIDIA Jetson um, offerings. Um, and the really smart thing about this board is that it's pretty well suitable for um, uh, development of an application, but also for immediate deployment for higher volumes where no customization is needed. It's pretty easy to use. It comes with the standard Ubuntu operating system we provide a pretty comprehensive image acquisition stack and um, you're able to um, yeah, connect nearly any kind of camera there as we have the full Chenicam uh, compatibility. Small form factor, space saving and robust performance rounds this picture up. But to just go a little bit more into detail about uh, this offering, um, so as mentioned, we have a pretty broad and flexible GPU selection available. So depending on the application needs you have, um, you might uh, just switch between the Xavier, the TX2 or the nano processor there. And the board itself provides a pretty comprehensive uh, interface landscape, which allows for flexible hardware selection from the acquisition part of, of the application. So it comes with uh, three ethernet connectors, two of them being uh, able to connect um, to up to 10 gig um, UDP cameras. Um, especially for the GIGI um, interface, we provide the TCP offload functionality, 
which allows for low latency, uh, reliable data delivery, but also low CPU load. For USB 3 vision, there's two USB interfaces on the board. We implemented a de dedicated zero copy functionality, which also allows for low CPU load and high speed image acquisition. Well, all interfaces are fully Chenicam compliant. Even for the MePC's I interface, um, we provide a Chenicam compliant uh, driver stack for Allied Vision cameras. So you could even connect MePC's I cameras using um, off the shelf uh, Chenicam um, software interfaces. But whenever necessary, um, whenever you need to connect a dedicated specific camera, just imagine uh, Intel Reslens, for example, which does not come with any Chenicam compliant interfaces. We could also provide you with a stemmer specific transport layer to allow for easy image acquisition interfaces. Um, for us, it's very important to be uh, manufacturer independent. So um, for this, um, we are able to allow you a maximum flexibility when it comes to your application design. So the board is fully Chenicam compliant, as already mentioned. So there's full support for Gigivision cameras, as well as for USB 3 cameras. Um, you can connect MePC's i2 cameras. And um, we just made a proof of concept uh, for camera link, but also co-express um, cameras using specific interfacing boards, which we connect uh, via the M2 interface, for example. The ecosystem also comes with a powerful, powerful software toolbox. So there's this generic CVB driver stack, which uh, provides fully compatibility um, it provides image compre compression as well as uh, image streaming. So also provides the entire interface to the outside world. Um, it provides deep learning, machine learning functionality, and um, the ecosystem is also open for third-party software or yeah, customer-specific software development. So that's the hardware and the software part. As mentioned, uh, we also provide um, surf, um, services along uh, the entire customer journey. So we are able to provide technical feasibilities, project consulting, co-development, um, but more in detail about that in just a second. So this was pretty quickly a, a quick roundup about our model embedded ecosystem offering. But as mentioned, I also want to um, showcase you a couple of our real world application examples. And I brought four applications with me today. One in the sports industry. Um, the second uh, application I'm showcasing is in the, yeah, it's also sports, but it's also entertainment. A pretty yeah, fun application, to be honest. Um, the third one is in the print and packaging industry. And the fourth one is in the battery industry. And all four applications um, are pretty challenging um, from a technological point of view, but also from the entire ecosystem and, and, and final offering uh, point of view. So I'm really happy to share more insights about on the one side, the application itself, but also the challenges um, which the application brought with them. And also explain a little bit more in detail about um, what we provided in this um, customer specific application um, solution offering. So let's first talk about um, this sports application I was referring to. So this is uh, um, a custom tailored embedded vision subsystem, which is used for real time game activity tracking and player statistics analysis. So imagine a, a football or soccer field um, where multiple, multiple cameras um, scan um, the playing field, where um, software then is analyzing um, where the activity is happening on that field and also specific player movements on that field. So there are specific challenges which come with this application. One challenge is the mechanical setup. So um, the challenge this customer was facing that uh, he needed a rugged and compact housing to withstand nearly any kind of weather conditions. Um, the match FC Bayern Munich last week Saturday was cancelled because of storm and, and, and snow. So perhaps not 
up down to minus 20 degrees, but in the summertime, there's high temperatures. In wintertime, there's low temperatures. So uh, a compact housing, which really is able to, to cope with, uh, with um, a, a comprehensive weather conditions. And this customer also wanted a Reddit, ready to be mounted subsystem. So he just wanted to receive a package, which he could then mount on the top of the football stadiums, for example. So that's one challenge. The other challenge was from the acquisition and the streaming point of view of the application. So there's multiple cameras connected to one computing unit, which was the embedded board. So one challenge there was to have a highly synchronized image acquisition uh, using multiple USB 3 cameras. Um, of course, uh, the videos are being used for replay and, and, and play analytics. So um, a highly reliable image quality was necessary for that. Um, for replay and, and, and streaming uh, functionality, a state-of-the-art video compression um, functionality was necessary. And also recording was necessary to allow for, for, um, yeah, for replay activities. So what did we provide in this context? There was, uh, on the one hand, there was the CVB image manager as the core image acquisition engine, which allowed us to a, uh, for a highly synchronized image acquisition for USB cameras. Um, we implemented a dedicated automatic light um, control and a motorized lens control, which allowed for crisp images. We implemented uh, an H265 codec, which um, um, allowed the customer to yeah, record the stream and replay the stream um, for later usage. So this was more the software side of the application, but as mentioned, um, um, the, the need for a rugged and compact housing to withstand weather conditions and the ready to be mounted subsystem. So we really took care about the entire manufacturing and assembly of that subsystem, which means yeah, assembling cameras, optics, focusing and calibrating the optics, making sure that the software and the firmware on the camera is right, that the software on the embedded board is right. Um, everything has been customized, <clears throat> labeled and packaged and then shipped to the customer. So we really um, provided uh, this customer with uh, the full range of um, stammer imaging more services, um, starting from technical visibility all the way down to yeah, mass product production in high volume. The second application I want to talk to you about is uh, within the darts industry, so to say. It's not an industry, but it's, uh, it's, it's a quite funny uh, application. By the way, next week, Friday, uh, the World Dart Championship starts in London. If you happen to be there next week, Friday, please drop me a line because I'll be there um, for private uh, reasons, not for, so this won't be a business trip. Um, anyway, the application there um, is an embedded vision solution to elevate pub dart gaming um, experience. So the, the application is to um, detect the 3D position of a dart in real time as soon as it hits uh, the dartboard. And an additional functionality which was needed was a reply function, replay functionality for players to see themselves yeah, cheering when they, for example, hit the bullseye. And this, by the way, is a real business case um, because um, in order to use a cork dart board, um, there's actually two possibilities. One is to use dart boards which have a, a sensor on the back of the cardboard. And if you think of a pub uh, experience um, where there's high usage of the of the dart board, those dart boards um, they um, uh, there, there's so many dart boards are being needed because um, the, of the high usage. And this is a pretty expensive uh, topic. So using standard uh, dart boards with machine vision really brings a positive uh, business case there, which is at the end cheaper for this application. So again, about the challenges in this application, again, um, there has been multiple cameras. In this case, it was three gigavision cameras um, being connected to one uh, computing unit and embedded board. 
So again, a highly synchronized image acquisition was necessary um, to be able to do the 3D triangulation and position uh, detection of, of the darts on the board. And also a video streaming coding for the replay was necessary. From the mechanical setup, of course, the setup, um, it was necessary to have a reliable calibrated setup um, and, and also to ship this to the customer in a ready to use um, setup. So again, from a solutions point of view, um, we use the CVB image manager as the core acquisition engine to allow for um, synchronized image acquisition. We used uh, an H265 codec for um, recording and replaying. So this really means there was three cameras pointing at the dartboard for the 3D position detection and one camera pointing at the player um, to yeah, replay uh, a specific scene where the player was yeah, cheering, for example. And if you go to one of those pubs, um, at the end, you even get a, a link to a website where you can see uh, the a video summary of that event. Let's say you book a one hour slot to play darts, then you get uh, a five to seven minutes replay of that match where you had the best uh, hits on the, on the dartboard, uh, the best cheering moments. So uh, this is a pretty uh, funny application. Yeah. Stop by uh, the Alipelli next week, Friday. Um, and also in this context, um, there has been a lot of um, supports and services from Stammer Imaging. Again, the entire assembly of the hardware setup, focusing calibration. Um, we shipped and ready to use a system there. And also, um, yeah, we really helped the customer from the first idea of this business case idea all the way down to the serial production uh, to provide the customer with a ready to plug and play solution. Um, the fourth application, and uh, just to look at, at the time a little bit. So this is in, um, in, in three minutes. Excuse me? You have three minutes. Three minutes. Okay. Yes. Good to know. Um, so this is uh, a, a line scan application uh, in the print and packaging industry. Um, pretty challenging because print and packaging is high speed. So we made sure that we are able to, uh, in real time, process the images directly on the embedded board. For that, we implemented a specific um, functionality within our CVB image manager, which allowed for direct memory copy from that Gigavision line scan camera into the memory of the NVIDIA GPU. And we're able to really um, make use of the yeah, highly optimized NVIDIA processing functionality on that board. Um, the fourth application is in the battery industry. So this is um, also from this roll to roll application, a pretty high speed application, um, even a little bit more challenging than the line scan application because there, um, our customer uses a line scan bar. This is um, like the contact image sensor um, kind of cameras, um, which comes with the camera link interfaces. So we provide um, uh, the image manager also with functionality to connect a camera link or even co-express um, cameras via um, interface boards using the M2 interfaces. And this was one part which we implemented on the software side. Um, we also did local defect detection with optimized filters on the NVIDIA um, board, for example, and um, to better communicate um, with uh, the outside world for machine control. There was also the OPC UA interface, which we provided there. So to quickly sum those uh, four applications up into a higher level view, um, it's, it's quite, it, to, to, to picture an, an easy uh, image there, on the one side, there's the full range of acquisition engine interfaces available to connect yeah, nearly any kind of, uh, of, of cameras for image acquisition. For the outside communication, there's various functionalities available like Gigivision server, uh, like live streaming using H.265 encoders, um, or also UPC OA. And yeah, in the middle, there's uh, basically the board um, with a powerful NVIDIA GPU, which allows for dedicated customer software, third-party software like uh, Helkin, for example, 
but specifically also for CVP. And to also summarize um, not only the hardware and software offering, but also specifically uh, the service offerings, uh, at Samar Imaging, we recently launched the SI More initiative, um, which basically summarizes the entire range of uh, services uh, you receive from Stammer Imaging. So this can be um, from the very beginning of the customer journey, like visibility studies, like coaching, um, or like uh, project support in terms of application development, prototyping, um, also preparing the entire mass production when it comes to the entire project management, production planning, assembly, and so on and also the entire after sales um, advanced support packages, which are available. So thanks for joining. Um, if there are any questions, um, please um, shoot them out and please also reach out to me personally um, um, as soon as you are able to drop me a line. Yes, uh, here we have some questions. Uh, what speeds were you able to achieve in the line scan application and what resolution did you use? And mm -hmm. um, the exact speed is difficult to answer. Um, I need to look all the details of this application up. I know that it was a um, 8K um, Dalsa Linea line scan camera, but I cannot tell you at which um, uh, rate the camera was running. And the resolution? It was an 8K line scan camera. Oh, sorry. Yes. No. <laughs> I was just thinking about Ali Pelly Dart <laughs> and <laughs> the next weeks I'm will looking at. <laughs> Okay, um, uh, football, if we drain the model exclusively, exclusively on sunny weather images, how can we ensure its performance in varying weather conditions, such as cloudy weather? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good question. Uh, this question really targets uh, specifically the software side of that application um, or the, the machine learning, deep learning uh, part of this application. Um, we consider ourselves as a company who enables our customers business models um, for their applications and in most of the situations our customers are the experts in yeah, the software part of the application so we really enabled for this application our customer with all the range of yeah, embedded offering from the camera um, embedded hardware and and data streaming to the outside world point of view and in this application it was yeah the customer's expertise to really provide that that uh, deep learning model, so um, he, he was he's, he's a smart guy, a guy. So I, I consider that he he came up with a with a neat solution for that. Um, what image analysis software do you recommend together with the board? And maybe you can explain what CVB is. Yeah, um, yeah. As mentioned, um, the um, we not only provide hardware and services, but also software. CVB is the common vision blocks library, which is yeah, a comprehensive um, library, which comes with tools for yeah, the most typical image processing applications. Um, our core functionality there is the image acquisition engine. This is really what we're focusing on. And um, as um, uh, the board is Ubuntu based and ARM based. So there's uh, basically any kind of third party software which runs on ARM and NVIDIA can be used uh, on that board. So um, yeah, whatever you want to use, use it. I think it's time for a final question for last one question. Why don't you use the latest NVIDIA cards? That's a good one. Um, there's always the latest and hottest uh, things coming around the corner, right? Um, we are now, about it. Yes, <laughs> we are now using uh, the, the, the Jetsons uh, um, boards for that. Um, when there are specific customer requirements, uh, we are happy to discuss redesigning the board. For now, uh, we believe that, that this kind of hardware setup um, covers also challenging applications sufficiently. Um, but of course, there will be further developments with that board, and uh, we are also planning on, on providing um, the latest um, uh, GPUs on that board, like the Orin, for example. So, Johannes, thank you very much.